Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we didn't play very well in the first half offensively. I thought we were okay. You know, we were okay defensively. I mean, 38 points is a little much, but they're, like I told them, like I told the guys ahead of time, they're a much better scoring team than they have been in the past. Um, but, you know, we've only got four returners that any league experience uh, and until you get out there and play and understand how physical a team like L.A. is, um, you know, you really aren't used to it. And then we did a better job in the second half. Um, but they made some key plays down the stretch, and, and we didn't. And that was kind of the tale. I mean, it really, it really could have gone either way. We had a chance to kind of put them away. Couldn't quite do it. Probably stayed in the zone one possession too long. Uh, we had a, an opportunity to get a rebound when we were down two. They didn't get it. They kicked it out, hit a three, got it up to five, and then that's kind of where it stayed there to, to finish it out. But, um, you know, disappointing, uh, but not – not upsetting. I, don't, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm very disappointed, but I feel like we did we did enough good things tonight, and we're a smart enough team that we understand, and we'll make adjustments, and we'll be that much better for tomorrow. What kind of adjustments? But you know, I think we'll we'll slow down a little bit in more in the half court and execute a little bit better. I don't think we did a good job executing. We let we let their pressure get to us, especially in the first half. Um, you know, and, and I think if we tomorrow when we settle down a little bit more and don't allow the pressure to bother us, we'll, we'll do a better job making shots. And we didn't shoot it very well. And that had a lot to do with how they played defensively. Um, you know, they're, like I told the guys going in, they're usually one of the two, three best defensive teams in the league because they struggle with score. Well, this year, they're probably still going to be up there again, but they have a couple guys that can score. So a um, little different. But, you know, that's one of the things, you know, we need still need to do a better job. We get better each game. You know, we turned it over 12 times. We need to be 10 or less. Um, you know, we, we rebounded, I thought, well enough. We just missed more shots than they did. That's why they out-rebounded us. And then we got to make free throws. You know, we, we got we to settle down. And, uh, you know, we missed eight free throws and, you know, <coughs> lost by eight points. So. so tell me about big picture as you guys head into the conference schedule here. What are your goals? What are, what are your expectations? You know, I, I, Goals are to win, win conference. You know, they're, they're to win the conference, uh, make the conference tournament, make the regional tournament, um, and, and you know, we got 21 games left to play. So I, I don't think, you know, I've seen most of the teams this year. I would be very surprised if somebody rolls undefeated through this thing. Um, the conference is just too good, top to bottom. You know, I was looking at the scores of other games before we came in, and uh, four home teams lost this weekend, which is good and bad. So, um, you know, we got some work to do, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a long way from it, and this team is, has improved uh, every game. I mean, we actually played better D tonight than we did in our last outing up at Dominican. So I was happy about that. Yeah. So, Alex, tell me what, what's it been like for you transitioning? I mean, probably taking a bit of a leadership role after your first <coughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, being a sophomore, it's still, you know, I'm still learning a lot. But uh, we have a whole different team today, like today than we did, you know, last year. And um, I think a lot of guys have stepped up into a little, like, a, more of a leadership role. And, you know, we're just looking for just to put a complete game together. I know I had a good first half today, and then I was talking to Ryan. He had a good first, uh, a good second half. And, you know, if we just put two and two together, then we'll be hard to beat. So what do you feel like is the difference? What do you guys have to Uh, probably, I heard coach say, uh, you know, uh, take every possession, you know, like it's like it's the like last possession of the game, yeah. and you know, value every possession, and that's probably what you have to do. You know, don't take plays off, and you know, just stay focused. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the differences from this this team this year compared to last year? I mean, obviously, you know, Ryan stepped up pretty big today, and then you guys had a couple other guys step up so far. Right? Yeah, that's one thing is we all, we have about you know six to eight guys that can get double digits every night. And we don't have to rely on one guy or two guys that if one guy, you know, is not doing too well, then the other guys can pick him up and we can play as a team. And that's what I think our strength is. Yeah. So what are your personal goals and expectations for this season? Uh, like Coach said, just we're, we're a team-oriented team and everybody is just playing for, you know, each other. Yeah. And there's not really too many personal goals 
just, you know, every game, just try to get better and try to, you know, win every game. You saw it, I don't know if we had to jump the blind, we asked the women's coach and player about it. You guys were picked to finish last in the coaches' preseason poll. Is that something that you guys really look at much? Is it bulletin board material or is this kind of something you brush off? Uh, well, I mean, this year is totally different than last year. So that was based on last year, you know, thinking about what they're doing this year, but I'm not worried about that at all. I think our team this year is, we're way above that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just something, you know, as coaches, we're going more off of who's coming back, and we got so many new guys. You know, I didn't, I thought maybe we'd get picked 11th, but it doesn't really matter, you know, when it's all said and done. Um, you know, this team will decide where they finish, and, uh, you know, it's, it's up, it's on us. And then, I'm excited about this group. You know, we, we've shown that we have the ability to bounce back. You know, this one's going to sting, and I'm glad it stings. You know, it, sh it should hurt. We should be we should be upset about it because we had an opportunity to get one here. That's a, that's a good basketball team uh, that just got us, and there's a lot of good teams in our league. And uh, you know, we'll we'll bounce back tomorrow night. Let me ask you about some of the differences from last year compared to this year. I know you lost a couple of key players, but you got some ball. You know, I think the biggest difference is we we have more guys that can score you know we can I feel very comfortable playing 10 even 11 um, you know as foul troubles mount as we, so it allows us to play a lot faster you know we had them you know it's it's kind of tough going zone um, because we allowed them to kind of rest a little bit but at the same time if we try to speed them up too much you know I'm not sure how that would have gone for us but you know we're deep enough that we can we can keep rolling guys in, keep fresh legs, and I, I have confidence enough in, in everybody that goes out there, uh, you know, to score. You know, so if he's not on one night, you know, maybe maybe Evan or Ryan or Brandon or Dev, you know, and, and our post guys have been finishing very well, and we're rebounding much better this year. So, I, and I think as a as a unit, I think we've got a, a just a more cohesive unit, which is, you know, kind of like hitting the lottery a little bit with so many new guys. Uh, they all really click. They spend a lot of time together off the floor. They're really good on the floor. And it's a learning process. You know, I'll tell you, I mean, I, you're walking to practice every day, and we have one guy on the team that's been here a year long or two years more than him. Everybody else is either in their second year or first year. And so, you know, we're going, we're, we're still kind of slow, you know, with, with what we're doing. Um, Got to do more coaching, which is fine. But, you know, this team, this team's going to get better. We're, we're nowhere near as good as we can be. And that's kind of what the exciting thing, you know, is, is with this whole thing. So, and I'm excited to see how we respond tomorrow because we haven't played back-to-back -back yet. You know, that's a, that's a big thing. Dominguez has played in two tournaments. And so, you know, they've played back-to-back. -back, uh, and, you know, both of us got beat. So we'll, uh, we'll see who it's more important to tomorrow night.